I'm, I'm not even sure how to explain this. So let's just follow along together. So I was on Facebook and I got a notification that said, the same photo of Rodney Smith every day added a photo of you. So uh, I, I, I didn't know what this was. I clicked on the link and it brought me here to a Facebook page called the same photo of Rodney Smith every day at the same Rodney. And it's, um, it's, it's the same photo of me uh, posted every, every day. <laughs> it's, 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 I don't know how far back, how far back does this go? September 20th. I, I, I don't have anything else to say. I don't, that, weird. One of the things about living where I do, which is about what, 30 seconds from your house, drive? Drive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 30, 45. Is that I cannot get fiber up at my hubs, my, ho my home, my house, my, house. <laughs> my homes. <laughs> and I, I can get high speed internet, but the high speed is seven megabytes download and less than a megabyte upload. And the cost, $54 a month. Well, that's a promo. That's it's a actually promo. it's actually 100 a month. It's actually 100 a month, as you can see. All right, now let's take a look at the package that Pep has with the same internet provider, Bell Alliance. Okay, fiber 150, 150 megabytes down and up, unlimited monthly us usage, and how much does it cost? 110. 110, so like you're paying $10 more to have 100%, hundreds of percent higher than me. <laughs> this is insane, Bell, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I found out my neighbor across the street has Eastlink and can get, not this fast, but can get, you know, a much faster than what I have. It, it would almost allow us to, I think, stream potentially from, from the Watch It Played Studios. <laughs> anything, just anything, because right now I can't stream anything. So I've got to look into this, but this is insane. Bell, what are you doing? Eastlink, I'm going to phone you. All right, let's do a test. Let's do a test to provide a context to all of this chatter about my internet speeds. I'm in my driveway, in my car, there's my house back there. I'm gonna do a test here. I already ran one test, but I'm gonna do it again, just to see what are the download and what are the upload speeds. Okay, you can see I achieved a download speed of around 2.7, 2.8 megabytes per second, and my upload speed 0.4, so about half a megabyte per second. Okay, so now I'm in the driveway of my neighbor's home and we're gonna do this test again. Okay, we're already seeing a shocking difference in terms of the download speed. Wow, and look at that. Even on just the Wi-Fi alone, it's already hitting 10 megabytes a second effortlessly. Just so you don't think I'm being a total creep, <laughs> my neighbors knew why I was in their driveway. I talked to them earlier today about their internet speeds. And they even kindly told me, well, you could just use our internet if you'd like. They're a very, very nice uh, older couple. And I said, no, no, that's okay. I don't mind paying for my own internet. I just would prefer not to pay for caveman speed internet, which is what I currently have. So now it's time to make a call to Eastlink. Thank you for choosing Eastlink. I'm curious about getting an internet package at my home. So if I want to drive into Charlottetown, though, I could do that? Yeah, you can drive into Charlottetown and go to the mall, where he also is at the Charlottetown Mall, and pick up a modem and do a cell phone call, and you can be installed with us today. Okay, wonderful. Well, listen, I really appreciate your help. Thank you. No problem. You take care and have a great day. All right, bye-bye. Bye. So if I want to, I can drive into Charlottetown, and by this evening, I will have internet speeds unlike anything I've had in this home. It's both exciting and kind of a little bit infuriating to think that I could have had this maybe for years and didn't realize it. I, I looked into Eastlink at one point in time. I don't remember them offering this kind of service, but maybe they have been and I just haven't been paying attention because I assumed that Bell Alliant would be on the bleeding edge of offering me higher internet speeds.
Okay, I'm just gonna summarize what happened because things didn't go quite as planned. It turns out after driving all the way into Charlottetown, I wasn't able to do a self-install. They informed me, no, in fact, I will need to have a technician come out to the house and install Eastlink internet service here. So I drove 40 minutes back home again. I made the call. Thankfully, they were able to send someone out to do the technician work the next day. So this is the next day and ta-da! And as you can see, much better download speeds, much better upload speeds. So all's well that ends well. Look, even the banner page, when you click through the images, the banners, they're all the same. What does this mean?